Friday and welcome back to RimWorld where we're actually doing things properly this time on the new machine. Um, I've created a new world, nothing spectacular, um, but I've decided we're going to start out on this poxy little island over here just so uh, we can have a relatively relaxed start I suppose. Um, it's temperate forest so growing stuff shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, the growing period is February to November so we're only going to have uh, December and January where we can't be producing new food. Um, playing the vanilla version again, I'm going to start experimenting with mods a few playthroughs in and before we dive in I just want to apologise for Wednesday's video not going out, the Grand Prix World video. Um, I had some visitors, unexpected, so nothing to be done but there will be a video this weekend. Okay, let's go. Uh, I might randomise some of these dudes actually um, because some of them are looking up. Um, he's not so useless. Some medicine skill. Optimist's always good. We have an engineer who's actually not that much good at engineering, but whatever. Mm. Neurotic and abrasive, that's not much help either. This guy could be very, very useful. I think I'm going to take these actually. Take the rough with the smooth. Um, Yeah, I can't think of any reason not to. I mean, this, especially neurotic, could be a problem later on because it affects his um, mental break threshold, but let's see. This time as well, I'm not going to be so pissy about um, using wood for things um, yet, but getting enough steel out early on can actually be really problematic. That's probably really loud, isn't it? Let's see if I can do something about that. Okay, first of all, before everyone lands and gets shit everywhere, just want to make sure that they're using all this stuff. And again, I'm going for the same plan as last time, where I'm going to just look around quickly for a pre-made building, an abandoned building, that we can dump our stuff in to prevent the weather killing it. Some more steel down here, never hurts. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're in luck, actually. We are going to have to build something. That's pretty shit, because, I mean, that's not big enough. Oh, food. Grab that as well. I don't know where all these rations came from. I presume they come from the same place as we do. Okay. Right. Now, I can't help but notice he's naked. That is going to be a problem. Um... He has pants. Well, at least he has pants. Keep him respectable. Now, he's the best at shooting, I think, so he can have the rifle. What are your stats like? Oh, no, he's actually the best shot. Okay, well, in that case, you get the pistol. You get the rifle. And you get the knife. Now, last time we made a... I think I made a bit of a mistake, really, in trying to be too ambitious too quickly. I'm not going to set guys mining straight away, actually. I'm just going to build them somewhere to sleep. That's the main thing. They've got rations to last a little bit. So we need a storage area and somewhere to sleep. So let's set that up, first of all, before I unpause the game. So first things first, storage. Where am I going to dump that? Well, I can't grow anything here, so I guess that makes some sense. And this will just be ambient temperature storage. We don't want a magic auto door. And we do need a floor. Again, you just don't want stuff getting damaged or worn out by the environmental conditions, so floors, roofs, all of that, super important. Right, get on with it, you lazy bums. See, and because we're using wood, it actually will construct much quicker. Um, I can actually even, if I'm feeling like it, which I am, get these guys to chop down some extra wood. It's It's got a bonus in that it clears some extra space for us as well. Shift your arse. Now again, because we're not hippies, um, we are going to be eating meat. Um, and I don't really want to be surviving on raw rations for too long. But again, it's important to 
organize as early as you can. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to set a stockpile here. And in that stockpile, nothing rotten. Um, no foods for now. But everything else, no corpses either, thanks. Yeah, I think that covers everything. And the priority is preferred. Like, you know, we want them to take care of it, but it's not it's not urgent, it's not like the frozen food supply or anything. Okay. Next job, see I I am gonna try and minimize their time spent outside. So everything should be close together or in the same building. I'm kind of reluctant to keep prisoners in the same building simply because that does become such a problem later on. Um, how am I going to do this? Right, the dump is going to be here. There'll be a reason for that. That will become apparent later on. Um, also, a bit morbid, but we're going to dig some graves. Um, because we will be needing them. That's the thing. <laughs> we definitely will be needing them. And for tonight, everyone will be sleeping in here. Okay, get to it. Give them a, a day or two to put everything away, especially the medicine we're really worried about. We want the medicine tucked away. Um, in the meantime, I will plan out somewhere nice for them to hang out. Um, I'm going to do it sort of modularly, so first things first I'm going to worry about bedrooms. I'm going to give them nice big bedrooms, super important. Um, and then we'll do our food growing somewhere down here I guess. Planning is really important, you don't want to do anything any more stupid than absolutely necessary. Um, I think this makes sense. Or does it? Does it then? Bear with me. I will figure this out. <laughs> See, the main thing is you just don't want them getting claustrophobic because it'll affect how quickly they mentally break. Again, not something you actually want happening. And yeah, I thought I'd done that. So next job is to deconstruct that wall. And we do get the resources back, so no big deal. Again, on a floor for them. And we are going to be living without power briefly. And I'm not actually going to build space for extra people at the moment um, simply because it takes up too much time and resources too early on um, the main thing is making sure these guys don't freak out because if they freak out and start killing each other and going generally batshit crazy then that hampers you it takes so long to recover from that that you're completely hampered for the rest of the playthrough really um, let's haul that you probably noticed I still haven't shaken my summer cold as well. I would apologise for that, but I've got nothing to apologise for. Whatever. Right. So, next step is furniture. Getting luxury up in here. Can't build lamps out of wood, unsurprisingly. And I tell you what, we'll give them a... Hmm, what can we... Can we do monkey hide? That's pretty shit. Well, their comfort will have to be a secondary consideration, but they can have a wooden pot plant. Now, this will be a temporary structure. I will replace all this with steel or stone later on, simply so I can have heaters going and not worry about explosions burning the entire fucking place to the ground. Once these are built, the next job is getting some power, um, which I'm going to build. I see, see that the, the shadow coming across to the left there. Anything in shadow 
guess what? Doesn't generate solar power. A fucking surprise, eh? Um, so I'm going to build them up here, because at the moment nothing's really cutting in on that. Crash Town seems a legit name. And then we really need to start looking at growing food. There's so many concerns initially, and that's before you know we get into researching things that we're going to need. But investing in some pavement early does pay off. There can be no doubt about it because obviously everyone's moving quicker. It means you get a lot more done in a day. Right. For now, I'm going to stash some of the batteries in here. And batteries are basically what keep everything powered, as you might imagine, um, during the night. That should be enough for now. We've got a visitor. Who are you? An AI programmer. Not really much call for that sort of work in this area, mate. And we'll just put power along the back wall there. And I guess, actually, that would make sense. So this dude here, he's just going to wander around and hang out a bit. You can sort of form relationships with nearby people and tribes, but we're not really in a financial position to do that, to be honest. Um, also, I'm a cynical, misanthropic pessimist, and I really can't be asked. Whatever, run, run the power where cables through there, whatever, I don't care. The main thing now is to start growing some food. Let's slow the game down a minute. And we'll have our first growing zone here. It's probably going to end up being in a bad place simply because the kitchen is going to end up being down here, but it's a temporary solution to a temporary problem. Yeah, my OCD prevents me from uh, having an uneven area there. And here we will grow corn again. Corn's the shit. Uh, right, here I can set people's work priorities. I'm pretty happy with the way things are for now, to be honest. People are doing stuff they can do. Um, doesn't hurt to have a second cook, to be honest, stay on top of things. But for now, I'm more concerned about these assholes building their beds. Turns out, drop the ball there. You've really got to be on the ball, actually, about your resources and stuff, because we've run out of wood. Um, the good thing is, it's pretty fucking abundant around here and we have to cut all this stuff down anyway to to expand so might as well get it done now so that cornfield isn't really big enough I'll have to add something else a bit of variation can I get something to fit in here what I'm doing is silently planning ahead I know you can't tell that from my voice, but I am being cunning, or trying to be. Let's go for strawberries. These guys are wandering around. I'm not so keen on people wandering around with guns, but you know, they're um, they're friendly, sort of. I want to deconstruct the sleeping spaces. If they have to sleep on the floor tonight, then fuck them. They have to sleep on the floor. For some reason, our batteries are draining, and I have no idea why. Oh, there is a mad animal on the loose. Which one? Which one? Oh, it must be him. Hopefully it attacks these guys. No. No, of course it's going to come straight for us. So we need to wake our guys up, draft them. And we need them to murder that fucking squirrel. There we go. Nice job, boys. We'll make that available for butchery. We don't have anywhere to actually butcher it at the moment. But, you know, a bit of squirrel meat with your strawberries and corn. Can't really go wrong. Throw down some more pavement. Keep things efficient. Now, I'm more concerned, really, about the power situation. Um, 
The batteries aren't connected to the grid as well. Fucking idiot. As we get to know each other better, you're going to suddenly start to realise that I am technically a fucking idiot. And I'm going to keep making mistakes like that, so um, don't be shy about calling me out on them. At least everyone's got a bed now. That's the main thing. We've got beds, we've got food. Shit is happening. Why are the batteries not charging? Oh, because they haven't built the fucking power conduits. I bet we're out of steel. Of course we are. That makes me a double twat. Compacted steel. One of you no good lazy assholes. Go and take care of that. Come on, don't piss me about. Oh, nice work, dickhead. Come on. See, sometimes there is an inefficiency problem where... Oh, great, someone's decided to join. Who's Coxie? Apart from being a Luddite rebel, which could cause us some trouble later on. Well, he is armed. With a Gladius, of all things. He's wearing nothing but a hat. So, respectable gentleman. And he has brought some food with him. He's got very low expectations. Good, good. We're going to get along fine, I think. 40 years old. Um, what are his skills like? Mm, he can cook. Can mine. Repair and construct. Apparently he can doctor a bit as well. That's actually quite important. Like Having one doctor is just not enough. But the key question is, can he fucking haul? Good boy. Now, where are we? Um, 6th of April. So, that's good because we're going to come into the summer before long. And we haven't really prepared for any particular extreme of weather. Um, but we've got a few months at least to install air conditioning. That's a nice place to sleep there, mate. Nice place. So now we're going to have to add ourselves an extra sleeping spot for that wanker. What an inconsiderate bastard. Can you not see? I've only just got things sorted. Um, again, same layout. No special dispensation here. Now, I mean, you'd sort of think that if you were sort of power gaming your way through this, that you would just go straight into building your escape ship and getting the fuck out of here, but your people will break so easily. I mean, like, even this here, you see this dirt on the floor? Because we've got no one uh, cleaning up at the moment. They, um, that bothers them. And over time, it will gradually get them down. Hopefully the flower pot is... Oh, the naked dude is um, mopping up for us, so that's good. He's doing some repairs. See, now, all this stuff is, is considered by the, the simulation, so, like, he's naked, and he's in the rain. He's going to be very, very unhappy. Um, and over time, that'll only get worse, because, you know, you can take a, you take a bad day at the office, but, you know, a bad 30 years at the office leaves you resentful and divorced by your wife, and probably in a gun store. Um... Let's just make sure I haven't missed anything else super important on the map. Like a bunch of steel that we don't have to dig out of the Earth's surface. Now you see all the, you see these buildings that you can't see inside? There could be something in there and it could more likely than not be dangerous. Um, but that does spice the game up quite a bit. Between that and the raids that you get, that really does liven things up. Now, I suppose the next job actually is going to be storage. We're going to need the storage. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have missed some other drops, but whatever. Quite a lot of visitors. Hope that that's not our food they're fucking eating. 
Now, yeah, what are we going to do about the storage? I guess I can have a basic food storage coming down here and then we can connect the rest of the building up. That sounds like a good idea. I heard all of you say that in conjunction. And I appreciate your valuable feedback. I don't like building a room that looks like that. But again, this isn't the fucking writ, so... That's fine. In this case, we will have a concrete floor. We have to run ourselves some power down and around because we're going to... I, normally I would chill, but actually I'm going to freeze. Um, simply because I want to get a healthy stockpile going. And that's the best way to do it. Um, but I am going to separate raw from prepared food. So... First things first, let's crank the temperature down to minus 9. Of course, you know, the harder those machines have to work, depending on the ambient temperature, the um, the more power they're going to drain. But as we don't have much load on our systems at the moment, I don't see much of an issue with properly freezing the fuck out of everything so we know it's going to keep. Because I'm incredibly bad at many things, but in particular bad at recognising when um, we aren't budgeting enough food. Um, pause that before they dump any shit in it. Right. Get rid of all that bullshit. Right. In the top one, we are going to have raw food. And in the bottom one, we're going to have meals. Now I know what you're thinking, but Ben, you're not producing meals at the moment. And you're absolutely right, voice in my head. Um, but we do have rations. And we want to keep them good for as long as we can. Once all this stuff's harvest, we'll keep it in here. It'll be deep frozen. And once I get myself together and build a kitchen, which I'm about to do, we will be able to make stuff happen. I'm going to bang a kitchen on down here and turn this into like a common space. That's fucking genius. Yes, look at this, all coming together. Like a dream! Kaboom. Now, in time for summer, you know, I might have to... I'll be generous. I'll give everyone... Aircon. That's the wrong way around, you twat. And again, have to burn up all our steel running power down to the kitchen. Oh, great, we're under attack. One dude, who we can't arrest actually. It's a bit of a fuck. Um, also, why was everyone sleeping outside? I saw you. Don't think I didn't see you. Right. We're gonna take position over here while he gets his shit together, and then we're gonna murder him and steal his stuff and hear the lamentation of his women. Melee that fucker. Call me old school, but usually you would shoot um, people with a rifle, but you go ahead, you butt him with it. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to have a luxury prisoner suite because that guy survived. This is going to be medical. 
but these guys will be able to sleep inside. Uh, just make sure not to put them in the freezer. Alright, you were going to undraft so you can go get some medical attention. You were going to undraft because you're naked and frankly it's embarrassing. And you are going to capture this guy. That is what you're talking about. There is a prisoner bird. Ah. There we go. Can we do it now? No reachable, unreserved prisoner marked bed. Set for colonist, set for prisoner. Set as medical. Pick him up. I think we've just encountered a bug. I've not had that happen before. You see, that flashing inner layer, that says to me that shit is locked down. But, whatever. Um, what we can do instead is um oh i know what it is they can't fucking get in the door that's why they were sleeping outside jesus christ you apparently not move it dickhead this guy's probably going to bleed out. What's his injury? Can we actually help him? Uh, he's got some stab wounds, trivial blood loss. He might last a little while yet. We've cut off his second left toe. Hardly uh, a mortal wound. Can someone hurry up and build that door? Alright, now can we... Yes, we can. I don't, I'm not keen on having him join us, but I am much more keen on selling him into slavery. Make of that what you will. Um, that may reflect on me poorly, I understand, but... Needs as must, the devil drives, my friends. And frankly, he tried to stab us with a shiv, so... Fuck that guy. Yes, things are coming together. Things are coming together. We've even got luxury air conditioning action going on. Sorry, I'm feeling generous. The prisoner can have air conditioning. I care not a jot. I'm going to have a corridor here, because I'm going to have to expand downwards. That's just a reality. But what I can do... Build some beds, some bedrooms, for any other waifs and strays that we happen to pick up. I'm probably going to need to uh, harvest some extra food, actually. We're getting a wee bit low, and we've got a power problem because there's an eclipse going on. So it's all coming together. Let's harvest some of these berry bushes. Do you know, I was pretty much convinced there was going to be a lot more of those than there actually is. Such is life. It's the same as checking your bank balance. You never have as many as you think you do. Right. We got the power. Or we will do at some point. Missing a meal source. Low food, missing colony beds, it's all going perfectly. The problem is I keep getting more mouths to feed. And we could genuinely do without that. Let's send someone out mining for the steels. So we can connect the power grid. Right, what are we doing with this dude? Prisoner. No interaction, he gets food, he gets doctor care. Doesn't get medicine. You don't get medicine if you try and shift people. No interaction. I don't care if he goes mental. Genuinely don't. And we're having a heat wave, so it's super cool that we installed um, air conditioning for everybody. And it's super cool that this guy isn't escaping through the hole we've made in the wall to install an air conditioning unit. Good show. 
Good show. Very fair play. I have to stop people sleeping outdoors. It's not going to do morale any good. Tell you what. That pig has wandered a bit too close for his own good. And we're going to be very short on food before long. So, that's something that's happening. And we're going to... If I can remember where the fuck it goes. Here we go. Can I make a wood butcher's table? I can. Butcher's table and a cook stove is just a cook stove. But whatever, we're making progress. So, let's take stock. We've got power, we've got some batteries, we've got almost enough bedrooms. But we've got two freezers, and we've got some serious air conditioning. Um, I would say that's not a bad start. Could be better, could be worse. Um, poor mood. Oh, that disappeared pretty quickly. That's good. Turn that frown upside down. Got a space raider visiting. That can only end well. So, this is where we're at. Thanks very much for joining me. Sorry for the lack of video on Wednesday. Sorry for the half hours video today. I'm still ill. Everything's going to be better. I've said it a million times, but this time it's true. And um, hopefully you'll join me tomorrow for Grand Prix World. And probably sneak in a cheeky bit of Rim World as well. Um, have a good one.